What is up YouTube? It's your boy Khalil here and in this week's video we are talking outerwear. Well guys, whether or not we like to admit it, we are halfway through November, which means winter is on its way. Uh, it's been pretty nice for the last couple of weeks, but it's only a matter of time before it is so cold that you literally need to bundle up just to get the mail. So since the colder weather is slowly creeping up on us, I wanted to give you guys a heads up so you can keep an eye out for a couple of winter pieces that will keep you warm throughout the next couple of months. A lot of these aren't new pieces, but they've taken the streets by storm, and so you'll definitely see a lot of people rocking these in cool and innovative ways throughout the winter months. So let's get started. The first piece that I want to talk about is the bomber jacket. Bomber jackets have been gaining steam throughout the last couple of years. They are not going away this winter. Literally, if you haven't had an opportunity to pick up one, do it now. I am wearing this uh, black one that I got from ASOS. I think I spent around 40 or 50 bucks for it. Not that much for a, da a jacket that I definitely am gonna get a lot of wear out of. One thing I love about the bomber jacket is that it's a great layering piece. You can wear a long line or different length shirts underneath and it really creates an awesome silhouette. It really creates a lot of dimension to your outfit and because you have a couple layers on, you're gonna stay super, super warm. If you haven't picked one up yet and you're still looking around, a couple of colors that you might wanna keep your eye out on are a black one, um, a navy blue one, or an olive green. If you can find an olive green one that you like, it can be a really cool way to add some dimension to an outfit without taking away from what you're wearing underneath. Definitely keep an eye out for some cool bomber jackets. Black Friday's coming out, so there's gonna be a lot of great deals on clothes and a lot, of st a lot of stores are planning their sales already. So keep an eye out for that and maybe pick one up if you can. The second piece that I am talking about is the parka. Parkas are basically the end-all be-all for winter jackets. They're incredibly thick, they're warm, they're wind resistant, basically everything that you look for in a winter coat. In addition, you can find these in a lot of different materials. They go from canvas to leather to nylon, all of which will keep you super warm this winter and keep you looking great. And the last piece that I'm gonna talk about this winter is something that has taken the runways and streets by storm, and it is overcoats, specifically in a camel colorway. I just picked this jacket up from H&M for about $135, and I could not be more excited. Although overcoats and top coats are traditionally a little bit more formal, they've really been incorporated into streetwear and kind of given the ability to be dressed up or down however you like it. Throw a t-shirt on or some jeans or a collarless sweater and you got a nice refined look without going overboard. You can wear your top coat with nice dress boots or with sneakers and you still look sick. There's almost no way to wear it incorrectly. I know one reason that I was kind of hesitant to buy one initially was because they are a little bit more expensive than some other coats that you can find, but if you get yourself a nice quality wool overcoat, it will last you a lifetime and you definitely won't regret it because you'll be able to get so much wear out of it that it'll pay for itself. If I had to suggest just one coat out of the three that I mentioned, I would totally suggest that you spring for the top coat. It's really not going to do you wrong this winter and you're going to look great no matter what. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you found these tips helpful. And if you go out and find yourself a cool coat, Instagram me a picture of it. I'd love to see it. My Instagram is at Khalil Davis. And while you're there, you might as well go ahead and follow. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below on this video. I really appreciate it. And if you have any content that you'd love to see me talk about, let me know in the comments below. And if that's all, I will catch you later, guys. How deep is your love?